notes of YouTube. This is going to be a December reptile room update. I'm not in my reptile room. Hold on, let me turn my shot off. Alright, so, uh, here's my leopard gecko. Sorry, the tank is kind of dirty, like the outside. Um, but here's the leopard gecko colony. I got uh, the first female I've ever gotten who laid out, like, most of my eggs last year. We have the hypo, super hypotangent keratin body, and then the male up there. Here's our cage setup. The water dish right here. This is gonna look 10 times better when I'm done though. I'm not even done. Um, I'm gonna add some ledges in the back. Some ledges right there. Um, actually, I'm thinking about like doing something where it like branches off, like it's gonna be Anyway, like an extra floor for the geckos, just because this is kind of bland, it's just, yeah, but they, I, I throw in crickets and stuff and dubias and that little thing, I'll take that out, but, uh, yeah. Um, over here is my little gaming setup <laughs> for, uh, like Madden and Call of Duty and stuff. Uh, I have a PS3, so, if you want to add me, it's the same name that I have now, it's Bo Winkle and RJ, so yeah, let's go to the reptile room. Before I uh, go downstairs and show you the reptiles, I'm going to give a few shout outs. Go to uh, check out Arowana Kid 2012 He has some cool videos. Also, uh, check out Chris Grenades. Um, both of their links will be in little annotations. Also, go check out, where's he at? Midwest Fibs. He has some cool reptiles. So, uh, go check him out. And uh, also, go check out my Facebook for updates or if you want to talk to me or something. Uh, because I'll, I'm usually on my Facebook uh, more than my YouTube, so go check that out. Now, see you in a few. <laughs> I'm back, baby. Psych. But uh, here's the reptile room. Um, there's the trash can, looking sexy as usual. Actually, her uh, bra strap came on done. But uh, yeah, right here is just uh, just this ass one I use for my rats when I clean them. Uh, there's no rats down there. Got my mice. They're pregnant too. I need to get more females because the, these females are getting not as uh, horny and stuff. Here's the other rats, and then here's more rats. They've actually slowed down for a while, so I need to get more. Um, here are my dubia colonies. Here's the babies. This is the baby colony, and then the original colony is that one right there, peep head. Um, over here. Sorry, guys, if it's a little shaky. Right here is my tegu, who I think is going in brumation. Haven't seen him in a while. He hasn't actually, he hasn't come out in a while. I actually forgot to spray, I don't need to spray his cage down every day. So, uh, yeah, here's his cage. He's buried, I think, over there somewhere. But I just do this every day. Whoa, I didn't realize I was zooming in. But, uh, yeah, this is the Tegu. I mean, I would give an update on him if I could show you him, but he's not really out, obviously. I also, like, just make a little rain effect. I go up on the cage and then around the cage just to make it seem like it rained or something. But, uh, there he is. Well, there's his cage. I don't want to really bother him too much, so... Up here is my female Annery Kenyan Sand Boa. She is currently hiding somewhere. So, you know, see her. I'm <laughs> um, right here. Also, I think he's brew mating. This is my male dragon, Nike. Hasn't been out very much. I haven't really do much. There he is. Look at him. <laughs> He's like, what the hell, man? I'm watching, I'm watching TV in this here. It's like, I don't know. But, uh, he hasn't, oh, come on. He hasn't really been out basking much. And just chills there. So I just leave greens in here for him. All right here is Toby. This is Toby. Oh, look, there he is. Hi, Toby. What you doing in there, buddy? Do you want to say hello to the people? Come here, Toby. Come here, Toby. Come here, Toby. Toby. Come here. Want some broccoli? You want some broccoli, Toby? Oh, good boy. Want some broccoli? Come on. Come through your little hole. <gasps> Come here.
Come on, Toby. Oh, good boy, Toby. Here's the your mastics. He's eating again, getting nice and chubby. <laughs> there you go, bud. Nom 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 nom. But uh this is just a little thing of broccoli. He gets like all type of greens and stuff. So no more? Alright, bud. Let me give you a little let me give you a little love. There you go. There's all the love you get today. <laughs> but there's Toby doing good. Um, her cage is a little dirty because I was getting ready to clean it. Come here, girl. She's gaining her weight back pretty good. So her second clutch will be uh, pretty nice. I just fed her a pinky, too, and gave her some calcium and fat. So she's eating good. There's mother. Right here are my geckos that I hatched. Um, there's a... Uh, but Valentine, she looks kind of skinny, but she eats good. So, she just hasn't been eating as much. She used to eat like a shit ton, but now she just eats like every two days. So she's like lost weight. Here are my tarantulas, and here we have a baboon. Tarantula, ornamental baboon. He never comes out. He's a fucking pussy. It's like, I'm just joking. Cussing and stuff. Here is my... Mexican red leg. He is doing great. He eats everything. And then here's my avicular varus color. Has a little meal in there. Not really interested. And then we have the giant in there. He's underneath his hide. So, uh, yeah. Here we got the mom crested gecko who's getting better. Seems like she destroyed her crested gecko diet, which is good. So that's her. And then the baby, I think he got out. I'm kind of pissed about it too. Cause he was, he was like one, like one of my favorite animals. This little baby guy. Hopefully we'll find him soon. For real, buddy. For real. You're going to go in there once to make a video. Come out of here. Come on. Tank. Come here, tank. Come here, tank. I'm gonna lure you out too. Some broccoli. Temporary cage. Get that. Um, a lot of these cages are temporary, except for the, the animals in the rack, um, because just the ones that are in the cages. Because I'm building a lot of new stuff this weekend, so it's all good. Here's the female lemon pastel. <laughs> of course, you're hiding too. She will be breeding next year. Sorry if this video is shaky, guys. Um, I'm, I gotta fix my tripod, but... Right here we have the possibly uh, gravid female boa. There's her face. She's in there. The boas are getting a cage built soon, too. Um, here's my little thing of... Uh, there we go, buddy. You got the idea. But here's my spider Mojave to this one female. Uh, my spider hasn't been doing anything lately with her. So I said, let me throw my Mojave male in there. And he's actually getting up. Because he was in a ball in the corner. Now he's not in a ball in the corner, obviously. Because he's probably like trying to get inside of her vagina now. But I'm going to take the other male out pretty soon. And put him back to his female. That's right there. Um... So, uh, that's what I'm going to do, and, uh, yeah. Right below her is my female, uh, where are you at? My female pewter, as you can see, she's gotten ginormous. She might be able to breed late this season, so she's a good 1,200 grams. And then here's my male boa, he just got out. We didn't get out, I was cleaning his cage and then he just ran away as fast as he could, so. Right here is Franklin. Here. I think it's a female now, <laughs> but it's all good. As you can see, she got really big. She's not really skinny. Uh, sad news, the uh, 
Sun Glow died. She had some type of virus or something that just took her out fast. So what I did is I uh, took her out of the cage, bleached that cage and stuff. So yeah, oh, there's Tank looking for stuff. Here's uh, Seymour, my blind snake. He's a butter. He's really gorgeous. I'm about to feed him soon. So he eats really good. Right here is my female baby hog nose, who I put a little pink in there. I probably get her alive to get her to eat, but uh, yeah. Here's the male black rat snake. Here's the female hog nose, who's very vocal. And then, where are you at? Now? Yeah, you hear her hissing. Here is my habino. I'm gonna say male, but I'm not 100% sure. So. Yeah. Once again, this video is shaky, guys. I'm I'm 100% sorry that it's happening. It's here is uh, Beauty the Blood. She's getting big, but uh, she doesn't really eat like as much. So I don't know what the deal is with that. But there's Beauty, my bl red blood python. Still eats good though. It has to be live. But... Right here is my yellow belly ball python female that I got from Kevin Carpenter. Really good looking yellow belly to me. Female. So in a year or two, she'll. Uh... There's her belly. So in a year or two, she'll be. Uh, she'll be breeding with uh, an ivory, hopefully. That's what I'm planning on getting her, is an ivory to breed with. There's the black rat sunburst thingy. Like I said, this temporary conclosure for him, he's doing good. <laughs> he flinched. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm gonna, whoa, good thing he's hibernating. <laughs> I forgot to shut this, guys. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm going to be putting, taking these cages off, and putting them over here and getting rid of this rack and making uh, three different separate cages. Maybe, I could probably do four, but I'm not sure. But, uh, and then I'm gonna put the bearded dragons in each one of them. He'll still have this cage, and then he'll have his own, he'll have his own. Uh, and she'll probably have one too. So, yeah. Here's one of the leopard geckos I produced all the way back there. You can't even see. But uh, yeah, and then here's the Chinese cave gecko. Like once again, guys, I'm sorry this video's shaky. He's getting his uh, he should actually. He is gonna have his own cage in a couple seconds. I'm putting him in here for now. So uh, yeah, there's a Chinese cave gecko. Hi, buddy. How you been? <laughs> So yeah. So uh, right here is uh, Toast, the bearded dragon. He's getting big. He's probably like four. So he's not 400 grams. <laughs> he's like two. But uh, he's getting big. Um, and again, temporary enclosure. Uh, he's getting a new one soon. Down there is the Pac-Man frog that I got that I won in Jealous F Apes contest. It's the best Pac-Man frog I've had. <laughs> um, Eats all the time and loves eating. Right here are the tokays. So you haven't got them in man. You can see them kind of. Little, little pattern back there. They're doing good. I'm going to put ledges in their cage too. Because it's boring. Um, and here is the male crested gecko. In his cage. He's uh, where is he at? back there. There's a live plant. Well, was live plant. He's back there somewhere. But there's his cage looking sweet. But uh yeah. That's pretty much it. Um I'll show you the eggs. There's the eggs. They should be hatching. Today's the fourth. They should be hatching in uh, around the 15th. So stay tuned for that. That's gonna be an awesome, awesome thing for me. First bearded dragon clutch ever, so. 
That's gonna be sweet. And uh, if you want babies, I'm selling uh, the normals for 30, leatherback, normal leatherbacks for 40, uh, sandfires for uh, 40, and then $50 for the sandfire leatherbacks. So, yeah. Here's just my mealworms, I mean, superworms, and then my mealworms. And then a cool little book. Here's my Savannah monitor. <laughs> Some more videos to come guys, uh, you can also ask me to do videos, it's fine, I will respond to you. So yeah, uh, comment, rate, subscribe, check out the Facebook page, go check out those people I told you to check out, and if you want to uh, shout out, please comment, and uh, yeah, I also have this cool clock that I got from a reptile show for Christmas, so yeah um see you guys later bye ah! i like my chevy sitting high, high when i ride by 24 inches got me all up in the sky